Alright, hi everybody. Um, this is going to be official vlog number one. So the other three vlogs were just me rambling and I'm probably just going to still ramble but it's going to not be as much rambling. But anyways, this is official vlog number one. So my name is Haley and I will be studying abroad in Japan for 10 months to a year. I will be leaving March uh, 20... I'll be leaving Canada March 20th. And I'll be arriving in Japan on March 21st. I will not be coming back to Canada till January 11th. So I think January. Yeah, I think January. Yeah, that's right. I'm just trying to think time difference. Um, I do not know my host placement yet. Um, it's January 24th right now. Um, I still don't know. I was accepted in November for my program. Excited. Um, I don't know where I'm going to be staying yet. So I'm hoping my next vlog is going to be where I'm going to be staying. Um, I'm going with a program called Yes Canada. It's a program here in my hometown, Barrie. Should I really be giving my hat? No, I don't think so. I won't be living here when I get back, so. So, um, yeah, it's a small little program from my uh, hometown. Um, they do have a program. It's it's all around Canada. It's a, it's a pretty much a brand new program. It started about uh, five years ago. Um, I heard about it when I was at school and they were doing a little presentation thing on exchanges about two, a year ago. And I've always wanted to go to Japan um, as a, an exchange student. Um, Japan was one of my probably first choices I've ever wanted to go. I've been studying the language not really as much as I wanted to for the last 10 years. Um, I wasn't really book hard. Japanese so I'm not very good I'm still like beginner because I didn't really put my uh, I didn't really put enough in initiative into studying at the beginning because I wasn't really planning to do anything with it but now that I'm going for a whole year I really regret not studying <laughs> um, yes if you do plan to go to uh, a foreign country please learn the language when you decide to do it um, uh, Jap Japan, a lot of people are telling me I want to go to Japan because I like anime, I like video games, and I like drama. Well, Japanese dramas. Um, that is totally not the reason. I've um, always been interested in their culture um, since I was little. Um, my old childhood best friend's sister, who was 15, I think, at the time I was like six, um, she knew Japanese. Um, she was she was going to college in Japan. She's gone to an exchange in Japan. Um, that's what really interested me at the beginning was because um, she told me all these amazing things and the language really interested me then I got into anime and manga and video games and stuff but that's not my core reason I want to learn the language I want to learn their culture I want to be able to immerse myself into a culture for a whole year which you don't get the opportunity to do when you just go on vacation if you're going to Japan on an exchange because you like anime don't go please don't that just be your only reason because you like anime and video games. Please just don't let that be your only reason. Um, go because you want to go. Go because that's what you feel is right. Go because you want to learn their language. You want to learn their culture. I don't know how many times I tell people that just because I have a Kingdom Hearts poster there means nothing. <laughs> um, and I forgot my Hello Kitty shirt. But go because you want to go as an exchange student and you want to immerse yourself into a different culture for a year. Um, this program is kind of expensive. It was uh, a lot of money. Um, I don't really want to say because it's kind of more personal in a way. Um, uh, what else is there? Uh, sipping on my Tiopia. If you haven't had TLP before, drink it. It's good for you. See, I totally went off track on what I was talking about. This is why I shouldn't make vlogs. I just ramble. I'm going to call out to my friend. Hi, Kayas. She said she's going to start following my vlog, so hi! <laughs> I do hope to keep in contact with my friends um, while I'm abroad. Um, also, I, uh, a lot of people are asking me about my age. Um, I'm 18 years old. I'll be turning 19 while I'm abroad. A lot of people are like, why are you going to high school in a foreign country when you could be going to college? I'm like, because it's what I want to do. Like, it's 
when do you get the opportunity opportunity to go to a high school in a foreign country? Really, when do you get that opportunity? It's like, never. So, um, my age was a big conflict at the beginning with programs because, um, well, I am 18 right now. Um, the programs that usually, sorry, that's really bugging me. The programs that I know of are like Rotary, AFS, and YFU. I email, I emailed AFS and YFU while ago before I applied for AS Canada saying I'm 18 right now would I possibly be able to go on this exchange and they're like well your age is a big factor and so it, it was really complicated and they weren't really gonna try in the end so like you know what I'll try another program see what happens and then I got to know my LP from Yes Canada oh, she's really nice um her name's Wendy she's she's helped me through this whole thing um She's like, you know what, we'll give it a try, see what happens, and if you don't get accepted, well, there's this program you can try for college and, or in international school in Japan. And I'm like, you know what, I want to try. Let's see what happens. And she's like, all right, we'll see what happened. And four months later, uh, no on November something, I got an email from her saying, you're going. I'm going to Japan. <laughs> the also thing, other than my age, is high school registration. You have to be registered in your high school at the time you leave for your exchange. I had a big complication with my high school for the first semester. Um, they kicked me out because of, I missed three days of school and I they told me I was expelled. It was really bad. Um, and then I'm like, look, I just need to be in school for the time I leave in March. Just reapply me for next semester. Just please, I that's all I need. And my um, guidance counselor, he's so pro-exchange programs he's like yeah sure perfect and my height my bps were like well i don't think she should blah 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 she should go off to college and he's like you know what just let her do it just let her reapply next semester let her do nothing like well not nothing put her in a co-op for a month and a half and just let her do whatever so i'm being put into a four credit co-op pretty much i'm just going to be the teacher's i don't want to say bitches in the way but i'll be working with the teachers all day um, I'll be studying wherever I can. Um, I work part-time at um, Cineplex Entertainment. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Um, I love my work. I'm going to be sad that I have to leave, but I really want to do this. So, My employees, uh, my fellow cast members are really very supportive about me going. And it's, it's great because... They're all like, oh, when are you leaving? And so they're like, don't leave. And it's it's nice because I got to know a lot of people. And um, I've only been there for a year. And my friends who all went off to college, they're all like, don't leave. Don't go to another country. No, come to college with me. I'm like, no. <laughs> um, this video is eight minutes. And it's I don't feel like it's me rambling. I feel like I'm just being informative right now. Um, right now, I'm just going through a lot of money organizing it's like really crazy right now because i'm trying to oh money is exchanges money is a big thing i live in a one person income home i live with like five people and my mom and me are the only income and she's paying for everything i am gr so grateful for my mother i love my mom we don't own a big house we don't have all this she doesn't work like a big business job she works in a in a company that doesn't make great money well she makes decent i don't want to say things online but you know i am so grateful for her from her oh, my dad's not helping me or my mom at all i don't think they are but my mom is my biggest support in this whole exchange is my mom um she's been pro exchange with me for a while and when she said we'll try was really big because I told her you do realize if I do get accepted the money and she's like don't worry about it I'm like, she's like work as much as you can get as much as you can save up and I will pay for your program I'll pay for your flight and I'm so grateful for my mom I, I love my mom um, I'm gonna cry mm, don't cry the mm. <laughs> <Duh> face mm. <laughs> um, I've packed up a lot of stuff um, my books are all packed up. I'm not taking them with me. I'm just packing them away, putting them in boxes. So I know that they're not going to be laying around for 10 months. 
my manga is all put away my dvds are all put away i'm starting to pack now like suitcasey wise not really clothes wise i'm throwing away a lot of things i'm buying a lot of new things and yeah also a big um hint i've gotten is since i am going to japan don't bring a lot of clothes because i will be wearing a uniform like every day <laughs> so i'm probably just gonna bring all my jeans because i only have like three pairs and like six or seven shirts i really love and all my shoes i had like two pairs of shoes <laughs> Um, I'm still debating if I want to bring my jacket or my winter coat or anything because I'm realizing you know what it's just more luggage I might wear it on the plane with me and then I'll wear it back because when I get back it's gonna be Canadian winter so <laughs> I'm thinking to myself I know what it's like it's gonna be mid-January it's gonna be cold so I'm probably just gonna wear my jacket there and then I'm gonna wear it back so I'm not holding a lot of things I found out that I can have two suitcases Yes! <laughs> I have one carry-on and two suitcases. Um, but I don't know the, the the weight yet. I'm hoping it's only like 15 kilogram or whatever. I'm hoping it's like in total like 50. I heard it. She said it's about because it's so far away it might be about like 54. So I'm like oh, please. Because <laughs> then I can pack away my I can pack some things. Um what else did I want to talk about? Um, new YouTube channel. I hate it. I changed it over because it's going to be changed around on March 2nd anyway. So I'm like, you know what? I probably won't be using this account until mid-March anyways. So change my layout. I love my old layout. <laughs> um, I'm really just trying to think. Voice acting. If people have known me, they know I voice act. I am... But I really highly doubt it. I'll be voice acting while I'm abroad. I'll be bringing my mic. My mic. I, I love it. No. I can't leave home without it. I'm bringing my laptop. Bring my mic. So I have to figure out a... Tra I'll probably put that in my carry-on, my mic. So I really don't want to leave it. And plus my computer microphone is really bad. So I can't do these, like, computer... Like, my screen is already bad enough. Like, I'm recording directly to YouTube, so I'm not even editing any of these because it'll take my computer, like, four and a half hours to save it. So I'm like, right onto YouTube, I'm just gonna wing it all on the dots. That's why I ramble a lot, because I can actually stop. I got a lot of stuff to pack. Oh my god. I actually was only gonna make this video, like, three minutes long. It's 12, 15, 12 minutes? I gotta shut up. Okay, now I'm just making things worse. Alright, so I plan to make another video soon. Um, I plan to make another video, um, blah, 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 blah. hopefully when I find out my, sh pro like, where I'm living, I'm really, really crossing fingers, really hoping I'm not in the country. If people know me personally, they know for a fact I am not a country bumpkin. I don't like taking, like, transit from, like, the middle of nowhere to three hours away f to go shopping. I don't do that. I'm a shopaholic. I love, Ugh. but I'm just hoping, you know, I'll, I'll be happy for wherever I'm placed, but I'm just hoping I'm not in the country. <laughs> That's just my own personal preference. I don't want to be in Tokyo. I really don't want to be in Tokyo because I actually wanted to be in Tokyo. Then I was talking to another exchange student. She's like, I'm like, I want to be like, Tokyo. They're like, why? I'm like, it's like Toronto in a way. They're like, no, it's not. Just take Toronto and times it by three. I'm like, oh, that's so true. And I can barely handle Toronto. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. No. I'm hoping I might be in Kyoto. Um, I've always been interested in Kyoto or Osaka. I don't know why. Kyoto's my big thing though. I like, I love it. I love, um, I don't know. I just, oh, I can't remember what it's called. But if you've ever seen Memoirs of a Gay Show where she runs through that little, I think it's on my, I think I have the movie thing here, where she runs through like that thing here, that's in Kyoto. And I really want to see that. I'd love to see that in person. Um, I'd love to see Tokyo Tower because I'm a huge clamp fan and that's kind of where everything's based. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And um, <laughs> I'm just excited. All right, so this is going to hit the mark, 15 minutes. I got to stop talking. All right, I will talk to everybody later. The hugs and kisses and um talk to y'all later. Jamatane mina.